There was some drama in Kim Kardashian's divorce case today. Well, everything's up for grabs. You know, there are no minor children, so there are no custody issues, but money can make people fight forever about it. Once the split from Chris is finalized, it could mean Kanye can put a ring on it for Kim. His lawyers had hinted that they'd like to put reality TV on trial. Oh boy, tonight Kim Kardashian's divorce drama rama juicier than an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. The reality TV princess sent her lawyers to battle in court today against her soon-to-be ex-husband Chris Humphreys. Kim enjoyed marital bliss with the NBA player for a whopping 72 days. You remember the alleged $10 million wedding ring, right? <laughs> Watch this from E. Getting every drop of makeup picture perfect. Chris made sure he was looking extra special for his bride to be too, getting some help with his tux from the groomsmen. Mom Chris and younger sisters. Oh yeah, all comes back to me now. That doesn't mean this divorce is going to be smooth though. In court today, the Kardashian lawyer says Chris's attorney tried to subpoena Kim's new boyfriend, superstar Kanye West by ringing the doorbell for hours and hiding the subpoena documents in a Nordstrom's box. Are you kidding me? Kim's lawyer said that Humphreys plans to put reality TV on trial. Chris's lawyers uh, firing back saying uh, Kim's camp is dragging out this divorce. Wow. I, you know what? It's hard for me to keep track of it. That's why we're going to our senior HLM producer, Celine Darkle-Stanion. You were in court today. Whoa, my head's spinning. What went down? Jane, basically, you summed it up. Kim wants this thing over with as quickly as possible. She never wants to hear Chris Humphrey's name again. But Chris Humphrey's side is stalling. They don't want to give her this quick and easy divorce. They want to prove, basically, that Kim married Chris Humphreys for the reality TV show, and that's it. For no other reason, for not, not for real love or anything like that. And so while Kim wants this divorce to be over quickly, Chris Humphreys wants to talk to everybody involved with the reality show. He wants to talk to the wedding planner that made the wedding happen. He wants to talk to the people who produced it. He wants to talk to the people who aired it. They want to basically talk to everybody that had anything to do with the wedding special because they want to prove that Kim married him just for the TV show. It's not like he needs money from her. I mean, he just signed a $24 million contract for two years with the New Jersey Nets. So it's not like he's asking for money from her. And she, she's saying, hurry it up. You're costing me money. This divorce has cost her $250,000 and it's not even going to trial until next year. So yeah, basically, the 250 grand. She, Come on, that's chump change. That's chump change for her. Uh, Kim's lawyers, and by the way, great, great summary there, Celine. Kim's lawyers say Chris is waking... He's making too big a deal out of this uh, since the marriage was so short and there is an ironclad prenup. But Chris Humphreys claims the entire marriage was a fraud, all for television. Keeping up with the Kardashians. Check this out. I'm doing everything by myself and I can't even ask you to help me out. That is total plug. I have been planning this wedding since I was 10 years old. Yeah, Such and a you could just thing. slot any guy into it. Lisa Bloom, legal analyst for Avo.com. Is divorce court the place to take on reality TV? And can Chris Humphreys really prove that he was essentially punked, that everyone around him knew this was just for show and he was the only dupe who thought, oh, I'm really getting married for love? Oh, please, 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 let's put reality TV <laughs> on trial, Jane. Please, Chris Humphrey, don't settle the case. Please do go forward and put it on trial. Reality TV is causing so many problems in our culture. I wrote a whole book about how it's dumbing us down, and this show is prime among them. I mean, the Kardashians, give me a break. Hey, if this guy was the victim of a plan just to boost ratings, he should go forward. He should subpoena everyone. He should get to the bottom of it. I don't think he will, ultimately. I think it will settle, but God, that would really make my day. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not a fan of reality TV either. And to me, uh, this spectacle of a wedding was a joke. It was obviously a sham from the get-go when I saw it on television. And how you could participate in this and then pretend like you are not a participant is beyond me too. So I think Chris Humphreys needs to take responsibility for his role 